Hello everybody. In this video I am going to analyze uh, situation what is going on presently in Arranger keyboard world. So I am going to uh, give some prediction and I am I'm going to talk about uh, things that may be uh, very important points in decision of a uh, Arranger player in future to decide which uh, keyboard he will buy and he will play. So let us start uh, with present situation in Arranger Keyboard's world, what is going on. So let me move this camera to, let me move to this one and see what do we have now presently on market. Let us start with Korg. Korg PA4X came on market uh, September 2nd, 2015. So seven years ago, long period of time, we are waiting for a new model, Korg model. What is very interesting, if you want to uh, buy PA4, presently you are not able to buy PA4 because if you go in Toman and you if you search for PA4 keyboard, PA4X, and you press enter, there is no key, uh, PA4 keyboard uh, anymore. You cannot find it. You can write whatever you want on this search, but there is no PA4 keyboard. If you go to that, uh, uh, if you want to find it on Long McVeigh, they don't offer. If you want to find it on Guitar Center, they don't offer. So the biggest world store, Canadian store, and uh, North America store, they don't have any more PA4. You cannot buy it anymore in their stores. It means it is discontinued, maybe not by company officially, but you cannot buy it anymore. You can maybe find in some stores, you can maybe find used one, but you cannot buy brand new keyboard on main stores, main world store or in North America. So if you are looking for Genos, it is not same story, but similar story. If you are looking for Genos on Toman, you will get information that you can buy Genos. Uh, for example, let me find Yamaha Genos XL. You can buy Genos here, complete set. But uh, let me see uh, here bundle but if you want to buy just genus now they have it in stock i was looking uh, yesterday they didn't have it in stock so toman has it in stock but uh canada you can order but you have to wait and uh, if you want to buy uh, from uh, guitar center let us see Guitar Center, there is no offer. You cannot find it in Guitar Center. You cannot, if you write it down in Canada, yeah, it's $6,499. I don't know how they got that price. That is ridiculous comparing uh, to, to price that you can buy from Toman. Look at almost $2,000 cheaper, $4,099, $1,500 cheaper and plus tax. And so $2,000 is cheaper here. How did they get this price? They know that. Uh, so, but you know what? If you look for buy Genos, you can buy it very easily for $5,500 secondhand Genos in very good conditions. It means price is down for Genos and not a lot of people are buying Genos. And if you want to buy here Genos, they don't have it in stock. They're out of stock everywhere. You have to order and you have to wait. You have to wait. Uh, I was checking yesterday here. Uh, I was checking at Toman as well. Genos, it, it said it is not in stock. You have to order it. But now they have it in stock. Yesterday was uh, in stock in three weeks. Uh, but who is going to buy a keyboard that is five years old, so big, with a lot of disadvantages, that it has 
and we will talk about that very soon. And now third major company of Arranger keyboard, it used to be Roland, but Roland screwed up with G70 and G, especially G80. Uh, G70, they needed just sampler and a little bit smaller size of the keyboard. And they would be one of the biggest companies still in Arranger world. But they gave up because they didn't listen to customers. Why they didn't have sampler in G70, who knows? Only things that we needed in G70, it was sampler. And instead of listening to the people, customers, they didn't put sampler, they lost market and they don't exist anymore in high class keyboards. That was something that I don't know why I did it. Ridiculous. Uh, bes uh, uh, now there is Catron, new company, actually it's not new company, but new high class keyboard that is fighting with those two guys, Cork and Genos. And they are doing a great job. And in future, maybe that will be choice number one for around our players. Uh, for me, that is choice number one right now. I sold my Genos, I sold my Cork, I have a catch on. And I will explain you why is my choice number one and why I think that in future that is going to be choice number one. So 2022 year. Now we see what is situation in Arranger world. We are waiting for new Arranger keyboard. We don't know what is going to happen. We don't know is core uh, coming with new keyboard. We know that PA4 we cannot buy anymore. We cannot find it. We don't know is Genus coming with new keyboard. Five years ago that was uh, a new model uh, 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 Genus. Now we don't know, uh, but we know that Catron may have a new keyboard on end of this year. And rumors are that new keyboard will be combination between uh, Catron SD series and Audio series. People are talking about that. When I was in Europe, I heard from some people and I heard somewhere uh, as well from some people rumors that it uh, may be on the end of this year is coming new Catron keyboard. We still don't know what is going to happen. Uh, but if that is going to be combination of SD90 and Audio com uh, keyboard, it will it would be very powerful keyboard. So it will be something that will pursue many of the customers to move from other companies toward Catron. But uh, we have to think about major things that will be very important in decision for uh, music uh, performers in next period which keyboard they will buy. So for each of those company, I will tell two very bad things that they have right now that should improve. And one good thing, those three, reason, three reasons uh, are going to be very important reasons that will pursue us to buy Arranger keyboard in future. So let me start from Catron. Let me start from bad things that is now happening with Catron keyboards. First is sampler. Limited number of samples inside of multi-sample and limited number of multi-sample that is even worse, just 30 multi-samples or 32 doesn't matter, but that is not, not good at all. And layering. At least three, three layers we must have for a multi-sample, we must have an unlimited number of the multi-samples. It could be only limited with memory, size, memory size, like other companies they have right now. So that is thing that Catron should think about. Sampler is something that killed uh, uh, Roland. So Catron has to think about sampler. Sampler must be in keyboards. A ranger player must have sampling options. And it should be right away on the board when you are releasing keyboard. If you are not ready, don't release keyboard. And second thing, bad thing in Catron world is in 80% of all factory file uh, styles that they are offer, there are loops. 
and they are actually live drums. They are proud of live drums, but actually it is wrong direction. Cork doesn't have live drums. Drums. Genus doesn't have live drums. They have options, but all styles are based of sequences of MIDI drums. Those styles are usable. You can change drum kit. You can adjust drums. You can mix them. You can, if you have problem with snare, you can put it a little bit down. You first you can mix it. Second, you can change snare. Third, you can change tempo without any problems in sequences in MIDI drums. But with those live drums, 80% of all styles live drums. They are take it or leave it. They make this Catron actually player, not arranger, not workstation. What you can do with live drums? You can take it or leave it. You cannot mix them. You cannot control any element of the drum. You cannot even control speed. If you are going lower, you will get out of synchronization. You cannot mix them. You cannot change drum kit. They are barely usable. They are usable only if you like them. But remember one thing. Whoever is buying a arranger keyboard, you know from your experience, if you are a professional arranger player, that whatever is offered there, 80% of everything you don't need. Only 20% of that you need. And if you from that 20%, those styles that you like, if you have live drums, then from that 20%, 80% you don't need as well. So what is usable from you from those factory styles that they are offering to you with live drums? Almost 10% of everything. You have just option that you can make your own styles and drums and that is nice. So Catron, live drums is nice, but at least 50% should be sequences and 50% live drums. You can keep it, you can go to this direction, but it is wrong if you think that is the best way, that is your strength. They sounds good, but anyway, your drum kits, samples, they sounds good. They sounds the best. What is the most powerful thing that Catron has? It is sound, especially sound of the rhythm section. and. Whoever is buying new keyboard, for every keyboard player, what is on the first place? Sound. The most important thing is sound. When you are listening to the keyboard, you are listening to the sound. And then features. If you have excellent sound and features that are uh, making you happy, you will go toward these directions. Catron sounds much better than Korg and Yamaha especially in live performing and especially drum sections dr drum section and kits now next in row genus first bad things first bad thing in in genus we'll start with uh, first we'll start with bad things two bad things first bad thing is genus must have on board editing fully editing mode you cannot be dependable of software. Software is bonus to make your life easier if you have computer. But you must have anything on board and you must be able to do whole editing, tweaking and everything on board, on the keyboard, on instrument. That is something that will stop me forever to buy any Yamaha Arranger keyboard if they continue to work on that way. I may buy it just to have it for one period of time to explore or make some YouTube video or talk about that. But to keep it for me, no way. I don't want to have something that is will make me trouble and take a lot of time for things that I have to do. So I want to have fully editing keyboard in front of me. Software is a bonus. That is one thing. And second thing, Please, Yamaha people, when you make keyboard, whatever is function of the keyboard, that is size of the keyboard. Don't make other parts and uh, don't make it bigger keyboard 
with empty space doesn't ha doesn't have anything to do with anything except it's forcing you to uh, buying a bigger case and carry it around and it will be heavier and bulky and big and something make keyboard with reasonable reasonable size look at what other people are doing if it's this end of the keys then it is end of the keyboard not 10 inch more of the empty space what do you need to make on that empty space remote control for tv or your iphone or coffee or beer that is necessary uh, not uh, that is not a necessary space we don't need that space and what is good what they have is good processed sound that you can use in studio for quick studio recording and it is good because uh, it has very good uh, communication with Cubase you can use it in studio so we don't have you uh, you don't have any kind of problem uh, if you are using uh, especially Cubase and Genos in MIDI recording, live recording, with uh, those sounds, they, they sound right away great when you uh, record it in, in your track. So they are prepared to sound great in recording. So that is strength of the, uh, of the Yamaha Genos. Now let us go to the Korg. Other companies, they have two bad things. But Cork has just one bad thing. And that is muddy sound of the rhythm section. Cork has to improve quality of the output signal of sound of the rhythm section. It shouldn't be so crispy, metallic, muddy sound. That is very bad. When you use Cork, when you listen to rhythm section from Cork after listening to Catron, that is like you are listening to something that is disaster of the sound. Comparing to the Catron. Catron sounds much better. Whatever Catron has good, in Cork has the, on the opposite way bad. Catron is clear, powerful, healthy, rounded sound. Cork is muddy, thin, uh not realistic sound that is too compressed and too narrow. That is something that will destroy Korg in future because everybody has ears. I used to like Korg. I used to play Korg for many years. 15 years of my, the best professional work I played on Korg because of usability. And options, you can change sound, but always that was, especially PA4. PA2 sounds better than PA4. PA3 sounds a little bit better than PA4, but PA2 sounds better than PA3 and PA4. Gradually, they uh, uh, they um, moved with better sound to worse sound from PA2. PA3 is a little bit worse, and PA4 uh, is the even worse sound than that we had in PA2. I don't know how they they did it, but they did it. What is good in PA4? Everything other is good. Everything except that sound. Operating system, usability, size, quality, everything is good. We, that we are talking about PA4. Only sound is bad. In rhythm section. Solar section is okay. Solar section is good. In many uh, uh, Ways actually, I like better solo section from Korg than from Genos. And uh, comparing solo section with Catron, uh, I like something from Korg, uh, but uh, Catron is a little bit better than Korg in solo section. But in rhythm section, all over, Catron is the best sounding keyboard for live performing. Uh, Yamaha is the most usable sounding keyboard for rec studio recording and Korg, the best operating system, most usability, the worst sounding rhythm section that exists in top market of our Rangers keyboard. So those things will be very important in 2020. We will see. Or Korg should make better sounding rhythm section or Catron should give us 
more uh, uh, memory for uh, uh, samples and do proper ratio for uh, sequencing uh, styles and uh, live styles. And Yamaha should give us opportunity to have onboard editing. Those are things that will be in future main reason for us musicians to go towards one company. Or what I wish, if Roland comes on market with something that is even similar to G70, just not so big keyboard, save those sounds, and on top of those sounds, uh, uh, if we have option like um, sampler, even that old guy, G70, would be competitor and would be high-class keyboard. But if we can get uh, those new generation of the sounds inside of G70 te technology with a sampler, then Roland would be very serious competitor. Maybe my way for a new keyboard. So we will see. I am not tight with any of those companies. I will see who is going to be winner. And it is going to be very interesting in this year. For now, what I am waiting, I am waiting what Catron will do. Uh, in my case, I like sound modules. And Catron is making sound modules. And I am happy with sound modules. That is my way. So I will see. Uh, in sound module shape, Audia and SD combination of the uh, technology with um, sampling mode with multi uh, with um, uh, more uh, memory for samples and multi layer samples it is winning a combination for me that is something that i want to hear and i want to see in in, in um, catch on world and that is going to be my way and i think so if they do that my prediction is that Korg and Yamaha people will move to the Catron. Thank you very much for uh, watching this video and have a great day. See you in my next video. Those are my thoughts. Please, if you have any comments, put down. If you want to put any comments uh, and like message to uh, one of those companies, I, I have contact with many of those companies. I mean, with all of those three companies. Uh, with some a little bit better contacts with another, I can send email to them uh, to inform them what was the discussion about those matters that I just told you on my channel. So I can tell them if they want to listen to us, it's fine. If they don't want, we will decide what we will buy, what uh, which direction we will go. It is nice that we have uh, possibilities to decide. So we will choose whatever is the best for us. And please sign in to my channel and see you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.